，你看一个叶子都能够有，这么大。那这个就是人种的吗？对，巨大型的。这个 fan。Qi Xiaoge is a Chinese vlogger from Yunnan. She's known for her soothing cooking videos, which are all filmed in the countryside. And we got to hang out with her for a whole week. In our last episode, we made two dishes with salt and goose. Today, she's going to take us out to forage. Yunnan is one of China's most diverse provinces in terms of plants. It only takes up four percent of the country's landmass, but it's home to fifty-two percent of China's plant species. Many people in rural parts of China forage in the wild for food, but the western part of Yunnan, which has a mild subtropical climate, is especially rich in edible wild plants and fungi. And when it comes to identifying them, Dian Qi Xiaoge is a natural. 珊珊，这个是我们家里面做腌菜用的一种青菜，我们叫老，我们叫它那个，呃，老青菜。它的树特别特别大，你看一个叶子都能够有，这么大。那这个就是人种的吗？对，巨大型的。这个 fan。对。那你们都是吃吃这部分？我们都吃，就是把它拿来晾晒了之后，再把它清洗、搓揉，然后来腌成那个腌菜。珊珊，这个是野薄荷。Today, she's looking for a specific plant called Sui Xiang Cai. Shasha, just these. These are what we are looking for today. Sui Xiang Cai. Sui Xiang Cai. And how do you usually know Sui Xiang Cai? Uh, actually, it usually grows in the water in the river. Then its leaves are 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 in the river. 一些小绒毛，然后你可以这样闻一下，你可以闻一下，就搓一下，就特别香的味道。Oh, wow. 对，它这个味道是，呃，比较好辨别的。嗯嗯。然后你们平常会用野菜，呃，做成菜吗？对，会做很多吃的，可以煮汤，也可以凉拌，也可以用来炒一些，呃，家里面腌制的豆豉。嗯嗯。因为野菜的味道是我们种植的很多蔬菜，呃。不可替代的，就像它这个特殊的香味，我们一般种的菜是没有这个香味的。嗯，而且它就在这种水沟周围，也不需要你去管理，它会每年都在自然的生长，特别方便。哎，然后小时候的时候是谁教你怎么整这些野菜？因为很多人都看不到什么是草，然什么是可以吃的。嗯，好像我们小时候就会跟着父母一起到田间地头去来采这种野菜。嗯，就从小就比较熟悉，就熟悉，对，很熟悉。OK， 好，然后这个是它的那个花，我们一般会采它的比较嫩的地方，像这种地方比较嫩的、嗯，就会特别好吃。所以待会我们要把这一片都采回去。OK， 好，那我们现在就开始。好，要踩比较嫩的地方。你觉得这个味道会很香吗？我觉得像香水一样。香香。And then it's back to the kitchen, where she preps two dishes with the forged greens. First up is a soup. She seasons the wok with lard, scrambles some eggs, and adds in a bit of water and then the forged greens. The second dish is a salad. The leaves are washed and then dressed with a spicy fermented soybean paste. 呃，这个呢是我们当地做的，用黄豆来做的那个水豆豉。呃，它是把黄豆泡浸泡之后蒸熟，然后把它放在一个麻袋里面，给它自然的发酵，它会变成表面有黏黏的那种东西，然后开始再把它给晒干。晒干以后，加上一些调料，什么辣椒呀、花椒啊、盐巴这些腌制，还有水，腌制就成水豆豉。那为什么你选这个配这个香菜？嗯，因为这个它本来是有点咸味的，嗯，就是直接拌进来的话，我们不用加任何调料，它有辣椒、有花椒、有盐。然后为什么你选蛋配这个汤？呃，因为
。鸡蛋我们平时也是家里面经常吃的，比较好找。然后就两个香味结合在一起，我比较喜欢。What's really cool about these two dishes is that it's the same vegetable, but it tastes completely different, whether it's fresh or cooked. So this salad is、um, crunchy, fresh, and has a bit of、um, saltiness, and it's quite spicy. And you can really taste the fragrance. Whereas in the egg soup, you can't really、um, taste the fragrance anymore, but it's more salty and it takes on the flavor of the egg. Both are delicious, and it's amazing how different they are. Of course, for Xiaoge, this wild plant is just one of many that can be picked. I don't know. You don't know. You probably only picked a few species. Um, seventeen or eighteen. Wow. Because we grew up eating it, so we have a taste for it. Um. 其实我们的野菜都还挺多的，<笑>呃，像什么野韭菜啊、马蹄香啊，还有野薄荷呀、啊，就是每一种的味道都很特别，都很喜欢。每个季节都有特别多的野菜，嗯、还有蘑菇。然后野菜的话也有二十多种。今天我们这个只是一种比较常见、四季都有的。Up next, we're going to revisit a fan favorite. Gianxi Xiaoge will be recreating her homemade hamburger for us. Stay tuned.